This is 2019, European Girls Math Olympiad, EGMO problem number one. And here is a view of this algebra problem. Uh, we would like to solve this equation uh, given this constraint uh, for the real numbers uh, A, B, and C. And we want to find all solutions uh, to this uh, system of equations, if you will. Um, we have three unknowns, A, B, and C. And as you can see, we have uh, three equations as well. Uh, so that should be sufficient to solve uh, these unknowns. Uh, we can do direct substitution type of arguments, or you can start with one of the equations and then try to find, um, try to liken the expression to this one so that you can ultimately substitute. Alternatively, I would like to do the following. Um, noticing that each of these uh, three expressions uh, they are not uh, homogeneous uh, in the sense that uh, this one is um, um, the, the the exponent here is uh, three in a sense. If you replace a with uh, t times a, b with uh, t times b, and c is t, replacing it with t times c, or if you want, we can put primes here. Um, we just realized that the uh, expressions are not homogeneous, but with a simple trick, we can make it homogeneous. This one is a degree 2. Uh, this first term is degree 3, so I can just go ahead and do the following. So I start with the expression a square b plus c equals b square times c plus a. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace... Pretend this is c times 1 and this one is a times 1. And now I will go ahead and embed this left-hand side for, to replace those ones. So that would imply uh, a squared times b plus c times uh, ab plus bc plus uh, ca equals b squared times c plus a times um replacing one again with the same expression we would get a b plus b c plus c a well uh, the benefit of this obviously quite a few terms will just cancel uh, for example we have an a square b terms here so these two terms cancel uh, we have a b c on this side a b c on that other side those two terms cancel so that would imply that simply uh, we would be left with uh, on the left-hand side, uh, I can further factor out the c here. So c squared times a, oops, a plus b equals, on the right-hand side, we would get a squared c here, b squared c here. So we can factor out the c, and we'll be left with a squared plus b squared. Um, we can further move this expression to the left-hand side. And factoring out the c, we would be left with c times a plus b. Uh, minus a square plus b square and that is equal to zero so therefore that would imply that either c is equal to zero because we have this product either c is equal to zero or the second component or uh, the second one is equal to zero which means c times a plus b equals moving this back to the right hand side this one uh, starting with the first one, if c is equal to 0, uh, that would give, uh, well, <laughs> uh, the first expression would just be reduced to a times b is equal to 1, right? So starting with the first case, uh, case 1, we would get c equals 0 implies, uh, by this condition, a times b is equal to 1. Further, if you can uh, substitute c equals 0, for instance, into this expression, uh, we would be left with a square b is equal to a. Or in, even better, just replace it into the original one. So uh, just to clean up a little bit here. Um, so we would get and uh, so the, uh, replacing it into here, so c equals 0. We are left here with a square b equals c equals 0. We are left here with an a equals, again, this one is 0, so we are left with a b. So a is equal to b is the uh, 
result so now substituting further here we would be left with a square is equal to one suggesting that a is equal to plus or minus one but that's also equal to b where a and b are corresponding a and b are both plus one or a and b are both minus one when c is equal to zero so our first set of solutions are one one well for a b c let's write that down so therefore a comma b comma c is equal to one one zero or um uh, minus one minus one zero or up to permutations obviously up to permutations um well when i say permutations i mean one zero one and zero one one are also acceptable and here minus one zero minus one and zero minus one minus one are also solutions now the second case this one uh case two will get more solutions from the second one uh so c times a plus b so here we are assuming that uh, c is not equal to zero or in fact none of them is equal to zero so a b c not equal to zero uh in that case uh we would get um well let's start with that thing so c times a plus b uh, is equal to a square plus b square but wait uh, our original expression had three equations so we can also set these two equal the second and the third term or the first and the second term also equal so we have some symmetric expressions for instance symmetrically this should be equal to um, a times b plus c and similarly symmetrically this one should be equal to b times a plus c now we can go ahead and add these up so adding these on the right hand side uh, i will get two times a square plus b square plus c square and on the left hand side we would get a c a b c a b a c and a b b c here so that's just two times a b plus b c plus c a but that thing is equal to one the twos will cancel so therefore or i should say implies this implies that a square plus b square plus c square is equal to one or alternatively i can be smart here and in this expression rather than replacing a b plus b c plus c a with one i can move everything to the right hand side um, um and even keeping the twos so that would imply that zero is equal to so we have two a square let me go ahead and split them in the following way a square plus b square and then we have minus two a b here um i think it's clear plus and then i have b square plus c square again and then i'll move that minus two b c and finally uh still c square and a square we have one more uh minus two a c aha or 2ca if you will but that is just equal to a minus b square and this one is just b minus c square and finally the last one is c minus a square but the sum of three uh, squares is equal to zero so that would imply that each and every single one of them is equal to zero so this further implies that a uh, is equal to b from the first one but from the second one b is equal to c and again the third one is just a is equal to c uh, these two are equal well obviously this is transitive equality so a is equal to b which is equal to c but then i can go ahead and combine it with this one and finally therefore uh 3a square is equal to 1 suggesting a square is equal to 1 third or if you will a is equal to plus or minus 1 over root 3 but that's also equal to b and c as well oops b and c as well so therefore uh, we have a, a couple of other solutions as well well actually two more solutions namely uh, a b c is also equal to 1 over root 3 where all three are positive 1 over root 3 or uh, or minus 1 over root 3 for each and every single one of them minus 1 over root 3 there's a minus here Whew. so uh, in total uh, we had i believe four solutions uh, two solutions here and earlier we got oh wait oh yeah okay 
and then we had uh, six more solutions here in total we got eight solutions to this uh, uh, system of equations and that solves this problem and hope to see you guys in our next lecture